What's up traders? Welcome to the channel. We're excited to announce that we're opening our private chat server for a limited time, ProStockChat.com. It has a wide variety of successful traders. Traders who focus on short selling, options trading, swing trading, day trading, cryptocurrency. If you want to surround yourself with profitable traders, then click the link in the description below. That will bring you to our ProStock.com Discord server. And always, traders, keep it green because you got options. So uh, today, what we're going to uh, talk about is the VWAP reclaim. So let's get into it. Hey, good afternoon, guys. It's Matt coming up with a little video just for the VWAP reclaim, uh, kind of what it is, how to trade it, what to look for. Um, so the VWAP reclaim is basically... When a stock cannot break the death line, or for this matter, get even close to it, uh, death line for me on this one, this is RKDA by the way, is uh, around 740. Uh, I did have this major pullback at 750, so you could actually use that as well. Uh, whenever it opened, it squeezed up a little bit, and then it had this sell off. And this is kind of really what you want to see, because that means we're trapping shorts in here, and then it squeezes up. And whenever, it's, whenever something squeezes once, the chances of it squeezing again is very likely. But then we had this little sell-off, right? And I, I was actually able to jump in somewhere around here based on this last little pullback right here around 785. Uh, I think I got in on the on the double bottom where it actually made a, a little bit of a higher low. But what you want to see is you want to see this go below VWAP and try to reclaim it once. So you'll normally see the first one will fail. So if this didn't happen, I would expect the first one to kind of fail, go underneath it, uh, but not always. Um, but what you want to look for is this right here. So we got anybody who's shorted right here, anybody who's shorted in this area, anybody who's shorted in this area, and anybody who's shorted in this area. So you got levels, right? So this is only a theory, by the way. But basically, the way I look at this is each one of these levels have somebody shorting it. Well, if we can break through this level, it should most likely take us to the next level. If we can break that level, it will take us to the next level. We break that, we'll bring, you know, bring us to the next one, and then sooner or later we're just going to squeeze up and momentum traders will come in. And that's kind of exactly what happened right here. So I actually sold this real early. I think I only collected maybe 30 cents or so. Uh, I think I sold by VWAP because a lot of times they'll actually come to VWAP, fail to reclaim it, and then it will fade off for the rest of the day. But this is one of those things where you could have jumped in. You could have, say, uh, when, it made, when it made the lower high right here at 790, you'd have been risking, I don't know, a few pennies below this low right here. So you could have said 780. So you might have been risking 10 cents. And I would be shooting for first VWAP, take take half off VWAP. And well, that's you know, 20, 20 cents right there, 30 cents right there. And then I'll probably have the rest on until you get to the high day. And you can kind of see how it reclaimed it, and then it tested it, it tested it, it tested it, it tested it, it tested it. And these are only just tests. What this kind of tells me is somebody is accumulating shares right here. When you got a really big position, light volume, somebody is just accumulating shares. And sooner or later, once we broke over top of this one, it took us right up to the next one. Kind of got rejected real quick, but it never really broke down. You did get a clean pullback in case you missed your entry. Um, you know, you could have sold some into this strength. Waited for the pullback, bought into the, the pullback, risking a little of this. I did give you a little bit more risk on that one, but the reward legitimately, uh, legitimately is. I really don't know how to like phrase it. There's almost an unlimited amount of reward because you really don't know where this thing could go to. We know the high of this, although for the 52, we high is 1040. And I think it could easily go there, which it did after hours, but. Um, yeah, I kind of rejected from there, but uh, either way, what you want to do is once you get into this and it does start going your way, you're going to want to sell into the strength, maybe add on a little bit during, during these dips or whatever. Um, I, I'll definitely be all out by now. You're way over the high. It's way overextended. So you can kind of expect a sell off in order to trap more than one. They want, they want to you know get out any long so they can gather them share, the shares themselves. And then you, you want to also try to trap any of the shorts. But the thing at this point is since it already squeezed up, other than this little level right here, you, you don't really have that many shorts in here. So the, pe the people who's really trapped is any momentum traders or anything who bought up here. 
expecting another breakout, you know, and <clears throat> and you really don't want to. I don't know. It, it's it's very unlikely for a stock to just keep going and going and going and going, but. This is just one of those, I don't know, we're coming up on, on the 52-week high, and it's already had one pullback here. You know, there's a little couple of little pullbacks on this one. Another big one, after two flags like this, I, I'd like to get out. The third one normally fails, and as you see here, we go up to the third one and ends up tanking down and trapping some uh, trapping some longs or dumping their shares, and then they're going to squeeze up the shorts again, and people are trying to cover for power hour and stuff like that. Whenever you see this kind of play, though, um, I found that it's very unlikely for that stock to be a day two runner. And that's kind of why first thing this morning I actually located shares of this. And whenever it made this green up here, this green move to the red move, this yellow line is the previous close, by the way. Um, that is a big sign of weakness. Now, I would have liked for this to kind of squeeze up and maybe come back up here, but it, uh, it didn't. So basically on all these little spikes that you see over here, like here and here, I was shorting all in here. Uh, had some orders set up here by the previous close and never came. And then I just covered basically at the beginning of the move. So this big move right here, yeah, that's where I was looking to cover at. Um, I think I actually took it off at like 880, had my order at 880 and it got filled. Um, made, made a little bit of money. We, we made it like 1400 a day. No, uh, nothing crazy, but the, the, these numbers all add up. So if you're, if you're like, oh, you know, I only have $2,000 in my account, $3,000 in my account, well, don't shoot for home runs. Just try to lock in some money, come back again the next day, and lock in some more money. You don't, you don't have to have big gains to build a small account. And you really, I mean, don't get me wrong, big gains will, will help. But what you want to have is consistency. As long as you're making money and you're not consistently losing, your, your small account will grow. Once you get over the PDT, it will be a lot easier for you. But it'll help you, having a small account will help you make less mistakes because you're more picky on your trades. Whenever you get over the PDT rule, the very first thing that you're probably going to have is you're going to you're going to be over trading because you're not used to being able to trade freely. Um, I definitely over trade, you know, quite often. But whenever I do over trade, normally it's just a small share size. I'm just trying some things out, playing like channels, stuff like that. Um, another one today that actually had a VWAP reclaim was OSN. So I actually shorted this, covered way too early because um, it only has an 800k float. I didn't trust it. So the death line for me would have been around 450. Uh, I never even made it down there. Really right here, you could have used this as a death line. But as you see, it, it's just going to trap people. And once it reclaimed it and it made it back above VWAP, look what happened. And ended up squeezing up, halting, came down, retested VWAP, and then held again. You know, like, like, I think I jumped in on this one. Um, maybe 515-ish. And I actually sold some. Bought some more during these little dips right here, and I held a chunk out for this. Whenever it came back down to retest VWAP, I actually bought more, and I sold back into the rip. Then I actually shorted right here around the 670 mark, uh, mainly going off this big red candle, the high of it, because I figured anybody who was shorting this right here wouldn't want it to go past that point. Fortunately, I was wrong. It did, um, but by then I already collected my profit. I, it wasn't a whole lot, maybe 30, 40 cents. Um, yeah, then right here just failed to break out. Like you're at a whole dollar mark, which is a very strong mental resistance. You know, the half dollar, whole dollar marks. Some people play by the quarter. Um, I don't because I don't really find it significant. But the whole dollar mark and the half dollar marks most definitely normally do have some sort of resistance. Um, I think right here it really didn't matter on this candle right here because it was just squeezing at this point. Like it was people started getting the panic mode squeeze and then it halted. Right here, it actually rotated the float more. Uh, it will actually have like a 20% uh, more shares traded than what the actual float was, which is absolutely insane. And yeah, that's, that's basically history. Um, I wouldn't have shorted this until it broke this 510 area. And then I would have been shorting every pop afterwards, especially if it could go back up to VWAP, which it can't. Um, that, that's, now, now we're talking about the death line setup. So we went from the VWAP setup. You collected our profit. Uh, you could have sold up here, of course. They're, they're not wrong with that. But if you're looking for a safe place, right here's a safe play. Just wait for 5, 10 to break, then start shorting spikes covering the dips. It, it's, it's literally that simple. Um, with trading, the more simple you keep it, the more simpler it will be. Uh, trading can be very simple, but it's not easy because just the psychology. Because a lot of times what's going to end up happening is you're going to need to do the opposite 
of what is going on. So like while everybody else is buying up, you know, this whole move right here, uh, I, I, I was shorting it. I bought down here as it was crashing down. I did the opposite of what you think you would do, start short selling, I started buying down here. And um, I started selling and short selling once it got back up here. Unfortunately, I did get out uh, by the time this happened because I normally stop trading around 10.30. Um, I don't know, for, for, for me, I found that I lose majority of my money after 10.30, so I, I just, I don't care to trade after that point. Rather just get my money, come back again tomorrow, and just rinse and repeat, because that's really what it's about, just building that consistency. But um, that's pretty much all I have for you guys for now. Um, if you guys have any questions about the VWAP reclaim, death line setup, or have any questions at all, feel free to contact me, hit me up, just shoot me a message, maybe we can set up a phone call, it really doesn't matter. Um, until then, you guys uh, have a good day and stay green. So that was the VWAP reclaim video. Remember, traders, if you found this uh, video helpful, um, join the ProStockChat.com server. Also, don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, hit the subscribe. This will get you the latest up-to-date videos to keep you informed on what trades are on our radar in the near term. Until the next one, peace out.